Why does what is your greatest weakness feel like a trick question inside an interview? Well, it is a trick question inside an interview, so that's probably why it feels like one. And what I'm going to do today in this episode is unpack why it is a trick question, how to adequately answer it, and what someone's really asking. First of all, it's important that you understand that it's not just a trick question as a standalone question. It's a question that's representative of a series of trick questions, which include other questions like, why should we hire you? And what is your greatest failure? These are questions that are testing not just what your weakness is or what your failure is, but also more categorically, how you answer hard or difficult questions. So you have to do three things correctly to succeed. Number one, you have to read the question correctly. You have to know what they're actually asking. Number two, you have to look the interviewer in the eye, whether you're in a remote environment or whether you're in person. And number three, you have to tell an honest story. So I'm going to walk through the three of those and unpack this greatest weakness question. First of all, your greatest weakness, the correct question is, how did somebody tell you about your greatest weakness and how did you respond? Now that's a different question. What is your greatest weakness? Could be a one-liner answer. But how did somebody tell you about it and how did you respond? You can use a story to respond to that. So what you're looking for is a professional environment where somebody gave you concerted feedback. And I'll give you an example from my own experience. Uh, If you followed our GMC framework, I am a ghost in the GMC framework. I'm a dominant ghost. And what ghosts like to do is delegate without clarity. So we delegate and give people responsibility, but we don't tell them what it is that we want them to do. And then they often will come back with either questions, which feels annoying, or with a finished product, which isn't what we expected. And we just simply didn't articulate it. So in working with one of the incredible, smart, intelligent, and excellence-oriented mice on my team, one of the things that I realized is that I needed to take about four more minutes at the beginning of every project giving insight. And the way that I did that is that I got feedback from the person that was on my team that my delegation wasn't clear and that they would often spend an hour thinking about how to interpret what I was delegating. After having that conversation, I realized that in just a really short amount of time, I could go a little bit further in terms of deeper clarity, and then we could provide better use of this person's time as well as mine. So ultimately, we were able to find a solution, but my weakness is a tendency of mine, this idea of delegating with a real open-ended response without really taking to heart how much clarity I should give at the beginning. Right? What does that feel like to you? Well, it feels like I understand that I have a weakness and I'm not afraid of it. It feels like I can collaborate with teammates who need me to do something differently. And it feels like I have a growth mindset that I'm interested in improving on the way that I am doing something, but that I'm not bothered by imperfection. And ultimately, what does that do? Well, it builds trust in the listener. So reading the question correctly, answering by looking them in the eye, and then ultimately telling an honest story about a real problem that you had is the way to go about it. Now, the type of question that I just answered is a specific type of weakness answer. It's called a maturity weakness. So what you didn't hear me say was that I don't have great Mandarin speaking skills. I mean, that is a weakness, but why am I talking about it right now? And you didn't hear me say that I did something that was really negative in the workplace. What you heard me say is that there is something, an area of growth, an area of difference that I have that somebody else doesn't have, where we realized that we were different, where we figured out how to work together. And so great examples of weaknesses to share inside your interview include things like under communicating or over communicating, which is an example of the one that I shared, under preparing or over preparing. So to spending too much time on something or spending too little time on something or under managing or over managing. So getting too involved or getting not involved enough. And if you use those examples as your weaknesses, then it's really easy to tell a story uh, that explains that you're not perfect, but also that you're not too dangerous in the workplace. If you want help telling your weakness story within your context, we'd love to help you. You should actually prepare two greatest weakness answers for your interview, and both of them should have the same nature. Tell a story, look them in the eye, and make sure that you understand the question appropriately. We'd love to help. You can find the link in the show notes.